Guys, in this video, we are going to be looking at a tritium system. For those of you all who have a JACE supervisory controller within your system, I'm going to demonstrate some of the uh, steps involved in scheduling. Uh, scheduling of air handlers, VAVs, and other components is a very effective way to cut energy costs. The tritium system is, uh, you know, very, very intuitive on scheduling, and it's, uh, you know, fairly easy to do if you follow a few basic steps. So the first thing that you will do is go over to the config tab, and you will drop that down. You will then see a folder called schedules. You will then drop that down, and then for this particular schedule, we're going to be grabbing the one for the rooftop unit for this building. And then we will simply double click the rooftop unit schedule and it will populate it into the view. Here we can see in the first tab we see our weekly schedule where you will schedule the things that run common each week. You know if your uh, building is open Monday through Friday or just however it is and you can select one of these and simply drag the bottom or the top to adjust the time frame and it will adjust the time in 30 minute increments as you drag it. It's uh, you know very easy to adjust the schedule on it. You simply highlight the one that you wish to adjust uh, also, when you highlight the one you wish to adjust, you can change the state of it by having it highlighted, simply going down to the bottom of the screen and opening the drop-down box and then selecting the particular state that you want to switch that schedule to. Once, uh, if you have a special event in uh, coming up, uh, you know, if there is a certain day that uh, you need to run a little different schedule that can be done from the special events tab uh, you can see here we have a couple already created I'm just going to go down here and hit the add button and we're going to create one and we're just going to call it holiday it's uh, we'll just throw a generic name in here you can name it whatever you would like or you can just leave it as the default it's just really up to you as you are uh, scheduling it, but uh, we're just going to give this one, just call it holiday. I think that'll be good enough for uh, this demonstration. Now you have the option of scheduling the system in various different ways. You can schedule it either as a single date, you can schedule a date range, uh, you know, like if it's a few days, if you're going to run a particular schedule for a few days. And it's very easy to do that. You simply select the date range and then select the first date of that range. You can select the day, the month, the year. It is, uh, you know, it's very flexible on uh, how you want to configure this. Once you have your dates selected, you will simply uh, press the OK button, but as you can see, you can go multiple years. Uh, you can go down to uh, even selecting it using a calendar, which is very useful as well. Simply highlight and click the dates that you want to uh, set the schedule for. It's really a very, very powerful tool that gives you a lot of options. You can go to this screen here where you can select it uh, for any day of the week, uh, any week of the year. I mean, there's just quite a few options when setting up one of these schedules. If you had a calendar, you could select the calendar option and actually link your schedule to a calendar where whenever a date is selected. For this demonstration, we're just going to select a particular date and I'll show you how that is created. Uh, we'll just throw a generic date in here, say the 5th 
uh, we'll just grab it for, you know, just a few days from now. Once you have it created, on the right-hand side of your screen, there will be a tab here. What you will do is just hover about in the area where you wish to start. You can adjust this once you find the uh, particular area. You can adjust it by dragging. Simply click and drag down until you get it to the approximate end time. You can see here the times highlighted down below. You can also change the state from unoccupied to occupied for this section and it's you know very simple to do very simple to set these exception schedules up and you can adjust the time down to you know one minute increments simply clicking the up and down arrow in the box and it's very flexible but uh, once you have your schedule set up, you want to make sure that you press the save button. If you leave the screen without pressing the save button, you will lose all of your work. Anytime you do any changes on the scheduling, always press the save button. Now, if you wanted to go in to a schedule which has already been set up and edit that schedule, you simply highlight it and press the edit button and it will bring up the dates that had been previously selected for that schedule and you can change those dates if you wish to reuse that or you know you can delete it out and start from scratch and just build another it's it's really up to you we're just going to cancel out of this for now the way that you delete a schedule is simply to highlight the schedule in your window and once you have the particular date highlighted that you want to get rid of, what you will do is simply go down to the delete button. Once you press the delete button, that particular schedule, it will ask you if you really want to delete it. You just click yes and it goes away. You will also want to be sure that you press the save button to save your changes. Anyways, folks, so this is just a brief overview that talks about some of the scheduling using a Tritium system. I hope this is very helpful to you. If it is, I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the box below. And thanks for watching the video. Oh, 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 oh,